these are ranked play tips that are worth more than 30 SR. Let's use P3 on Fortress, for example. This is mainly a money hill because your team really only has to cover three entry points. The two biggest positions is obviously having somebody on point and then probably somebody top circle or even like these back steps right here. Just making sure that they're blocking these gate spawns so they can force them near open or bottom art. Now you might have somebody, you know, running around in top maps or on this little box heady watching top maps, or they even might be on this little like grass hop up that people usually might look towards when you're entering through gate. I will say this arrow right here in number four, he is in a great position to help where he's needed. With this setup right here, especially with number four and number one, they have gate and top maps basically locked down. They basically have a crossfire where these two points, there's literally just no way of getting through it, especially because you have two sets of eyes basically watching the same thing or at least catching each other's angles that they might not be picking up on. However, you notice a lot of teams will usually try to push arch like heavy, especially because these two sort of entry points are pretty tight. So that's the beauty of number four. He can just sort of transition because he's sort of in this middle spot over to help time and he can even get in front of him he can get to the side he can get to the back he's more so able to support him because he's in the middle of everything he can sort of move around where he needs to go and even though the setup is a little passive everybody's in a great spot to play for trades somebody could push out top maps kill number one four is there for the trade or even vice versa he goes and chows number four number one's there for the trade you could have number three on boxes and four helping out time if four or two die then three can just turn around and help from towards the front that's why it's super important just to kind of get a gist of where you're looking and versus where your other teammates are looking especially on these hills because you're easily going to get a lot of time if you need to just check three points let me know if you knew this before because 